Good morning. We are on the seating home stretch. We don't have much left to go. We're filling the drill here at the yard this morning. Just a little bit left at home and then one other field a mile away. So two days, that's all that's left. One thing we've learned about the Raven GPS, don't even look at it, don't even touch it until it's had its morning coffee and it's all booted up or else it won't work. Had a few glitches, full shutdowns, have to restart the tractor to get it to come on properly. Sometimes, usually it's okay. Sometimes it has its moments. Oh yeah, that has to be, uh oh. Don't even look at it. And the X35 gives its guidance from this. Oh, there we go. We're green. So now I can, that's gonna boot up. Okay, things are good. Smoky. Taste it. We're full. Seems like here in Saskatchewan the conditions are either like this, super dry, things are super dirty, the dust is sitting on the drill, or the exact opposite. Guys are fighting, getting stuck, mud. I don't know what's worse. Well, what's worse is getting stuck. For here, conditions aren't great, but at least you can seed through everything and then the rain can start. And finally in the forecast, things we are looking up today is May 20th, Saturday on Tuesday. 90% chance, saying this quietly, I don't want to scare it away. 90% chance, 10 to 15 millimeters. Okay, banana peel out the window, between the mid row banders. Underneath those two white warning stickers between those two mid row banners. Here we go. Cantera canola. We are done with our invigor for the most part. When we run out of this, we'll probably have to switch back to a little bit of invigor bags still, but for the most part, the invigor Liberty canola is done. This is Cantera Liberty. I don't know if I've ever seen Cantera. I have one mineral bander hose that doesn't like to participate. It keeps popping out at the bottom, but you can see it pretty good from the cab. It's still in there right now. It's right behind, it's right, it's that guy there. So I'll keep an eye on it. This drill's never seen mud before. Those trees there are about a quarter mile away. You can see max maybe one mile. There's 29 active wildfires here in the province of Saskatchewan and there have been 180 to date. I just looked it up. This area here, they've been disking it down. It's kind of like a slough bottom. Try to get rid of these cattails. Try to burn them. It's finally dry enough that we can seep through here. It's been a few years, but the water's gone. Try to see through it, I guess. This was a little soft with the sprayer. So might have to go around, we'll see. Might have to go around that guy. The sprayer ruts don't give me a lot of confidence, but it would be nice to see through all of this.
of it now. out called my dad he's on his way with the other versatile with the toast dropped he just laughed at me with the tracks they have good flotation but it's like it stays it tries to stay on top of the dirt but then it just like it just spins right out if it's greasy it doesn't dig down like a real tractor would it won't take much to get it out, I hope. And we can take this off. Hook the tow strap to this cable. It runs underneath the tractor. It actually pulls from the back. If you pull straight from the front, you can rip your tractor right in half. So that's what that's for. There comes the rescue team. Check the runs. There's a lot of mud on the shanks. It's one for the good guys. One thing with the tracks, like you'll get stuck, you'll still get stuck, but you won't dig down like tires would. And with the high float uh, drill, like that didn't break through. The tank, that didn't break through. I got 20,000 pounds in my tank. The tank wasn't even really in there yet. That's a big rock. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Just a little tug out of there. It's not even bad. Didn't even bury it to the frame. Those are the good ones. There, I see it around the danger zone. <laughs> I gotta check these runs. I, there's no blockage on every hose. Just the longest hose, every manifold, so. Gotta double check they're not, they're not uh, have some pluck guys. Shanks are good. Nope, they're not good. This fertilizer on the frame means something's up. That guy. Need a, need a tool. The hose just split. I just cut it off and it's lots of hose, so cut it off and I clamp it in there.
leather sort of buckle. Nice. Plants. Do I see anything else out of the ordinary? Oh yeah, that guy's got some tape holding him on. As long as you can get us to the end, we got a day and a half left. Let's get the mud out of here. What a morning! Smoke is getting worse. There's the yard. That's the yard there. I'm not that far from it. Okay, same spot between those two mineral banders underneath those white stickers. canola very very soon there's a sensor at the very bottom of the tank there it is and when it says you're out you're out Two, three, four lunch kits in here. That one's that one's my dad's. But so we got four lunch lunch kits in here. Yeah, well fueled. Oh baby! Woo -hoo -hoo. She's bringing fries, side of side of wings. Man, what a day. What a day we are having. 320 acres today, 400 acres yesterday. 